Thank you for watching this video. I'm here this morning with Jeanette McLaughlin, who is our coordinator for Northern Ireland. As you can see, both myself and Jeanette, we're all logo logoed up. And um, I'm so glad to have Jeanette here with us because she made a video, we had, we had an interview, um, you know, a while back when she was on a journey. And I'm not saying she's not on the journey, but since then, things have just changed in an amazing way for Jeanette. And I just want to thank you, Jeanette, for joining us this morning and sharing what's happened since. Um, so I'll, I'll hand over to you. Thank you again. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you for asking. Yes. Oh, it has changed so much. It has. I never believed that the um, improvement could have been as fast as what happened from even from the six week interview with yourself with the lymphedema. Um, I have just come on. I think I'm thinking a bit of a bore. Um, right. Okay. So what has happened for me? Okay. Um, I have continued to lose weight. I have continued to improve um, in my overall health condition. I don't believe I have, I, I haven't been um, out of my clinics. I don't believe I have lymphedema anymore because the signs that I would have are no longer there. So I would say, no, that's gone. Um, I was also diagnosed with mesedema. Um, and I'll speak with my GP when I eventually get to see him again in the future about this but i'm very happy anyway what has happened well george and myself my husband and myself have continued on the local loafer for journey um keep touch chatting with yourselves attending the groups through through zoom and chatting with you online on facebook and the information and the support and the advice and the help has been brilliant absolutely brilliant to the extent where i get i understand now i completely what I'm doing and where my problem was all along. You know, the calories, the calories being caught out that I was eating and I was gaining a pound. I put a stone on in a year after doing a personal workout gym. When the lockdown happened, I put on a full stone and couldn't stop it. Traveling, just could not stop the actual way from going on. And the frustration, the pain, the tears, the, uh, it was my personal hell. I was living in it and I was working so hard to try and get it off. And then chatting with yourself, explaining what I was doing. My corn, cornflakes is my go-to. I enjoyed a nice bowl of cornflakes with warm milk and I enjoyed the toast with the beans and I enjoyed the pasta with the tuna on it. I, I would go, are you kidding me? Is this all it is? Literally, change your weight for green. Take your weight off your plate and put green in its place and carry on with your life. It's that simple. <laughs> okay, this is a no-brainer. Absolutely no-brainer. Panites, so people have been saying, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? How are you? Look You're looking great. You're looking wonderful. And I say, oh, yeah, I've stopped my bread. And, oh, you may as well say I jumped off a 50-foot building because the minute you say you stopped your bread, oh, I couldn't do that. That's terrible. Oh, I couldn't live without bread. Okay. Then I step back. I have learned to step back. I go, okay, do you want to lose weight? Yes. How much weight would you like to be around the bike? How much were you talking about coming off? Okay. How fast would you like this to happen for you? Okay, okay. So I have a stepdaddy who's 75 today. And he lived on four, he loved his four pound cake today and this and this. And I was boring him that much. He decided to actually give it a go. And over the first four days, first four days of doing this, he stopped the pancakes and he stopped this and he stopped that. And he went, Jeanette, I can't do without my pancakes. I'm sorry. And I went, right, okay, H have two instead of four. When he went to actually try them again, he could taste the sweetness of it. And he went, I can never eat pancakes again. There are, and he went, yeah, I told you. So in three weeks, without getting off the sofa, up them to go to the toilet and go to bed, he's lost a stone and weight. You know, this is not anybody, if you're in a wheelchair, anybody can do this. You just have to choose wisely. And how you choose wisely is you know what the food does and how you burn it. And once you understand that, it's your decision. It's your call. How heavy you are depends on you. Not me, not in doctors, not in anybody. It depends on you. You want to be late? You can be late. You want to be heavy? You can be heavy. It's your call. So this is what I am teaching. So I say, okay, if I have a smoker who wants to come off cigarettes, 
40 cigarettes a day. It's an addiction. It's hard to kill, kick. I was a smoker in the past myself. I understand. Okay, well, let's do it this way. You would smoke 40 cigarettes a day. We'll cut it down to 20 for a month. Cut it down to 10. Cut it, and as you actually do that, your body is becoming more aware of what you're seeing benefits of that wee bit. So if you can't do without the four bits of, bait, bait, or the four bits of bread or the potatoes, or the, one little, and then when you start to see that you can, actually can do this, then kick it off the plate completely. You know, just by him reducing down his carbohydrates to a smaller amount is one stone off. He hasn't stopped them completely, 75, he feels unique. But that's just his choice to make. He understands he's 75 and gets it. Don't tell me anybody else can get it if he can get it. You know, it's not like, you know, he, he doesn't play mountains, doesn't do workouts, doesn't do, he doesn't even hardly walk. But he understands that. So this is where we're teaching. It's all about what you want. It's all about how you get it and how fast you want to get it. And I'm here for you if you want to go take a year to do that or take two months to do it. We've got we've got people on our local local group traveling who has lost a stone in a week. Wow. You know, and we have got people who are just taking it off. Chip, 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 chip. Whatever you decide to do is your call. But please understand where it's ha- what what is happening to your body and the rest is history it's really is history no lymphedema no pain feeling brilliant feel like i'm 30 instead of 50 today i know feel uh, so much energy of uh, so much and i this buzz about me that people actually are bore and boring them listen here she goes again my brother said to me look at you you better stop it you're killing yourself look how thin you are and i'm like you had the heart attack. You have the, the diabetes problem. You're telling me if it's please. Traveling, if it wasn't so sad, it would be funny. You know, people are, I am sitting going, why can I not lose? But Dr. David or Ugman, I mean, he's saying, I, on YouTube, I failed my patients. I didn't explain to them how this worked. I didn't, and I didn't get it. Are there's, how are so many people in this world not understand this? How are we missing the memo? It's 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 crazy how simple this I eat I have my cottage pie, I have my lasagnas, I have my my stir fries, I have my fries, I have I have whatever I want and I'm losing weight every single week. Menace, 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 menace. Please, it's a no brainer. It really is a no brainer. So the local over team in Belfast. It's us, my husband and myself, um, and we are here to help anybody who wants to help free of charge, any time at all. Send me a message, send me a group chat, send me a personal message, phone me, anything at all, and I'll give you the advice. But you have to do it yourself, Kevin. You have to actually be willing to listen and do it. How long did it take me to get it, get it in my head? About six weeks. And at the beginning, about six weeks, it took me to actually go from, you no, know, because my body threw a bit of a tantrum, you know, I had the headache, I had the low energy, I had the, the sort of thing, you know, I had a bit of a craving, I had, you know, a couple of hurdles to jump myself. So at the end of six weeks, I had £19 off, £19 off in six weeks, and I was hooked, <laughs> absolutely. This is, this, this is, this is the human way of living. This is actually the only way to live properly. And taking the glucose out of your diet reduces inflammation, diabetes, so many, so many benefits from doing this. But but the doctor's going, oh, so I'm not blaming the doctor. I'm not blaming the doctor. I'm blaming this on myself. I, I probably could have found it somewhere in the knowledge, but I didn't find it until I met and you well, <laughs> well, you put you took the time to go on to YouTube and explain what you did and how you did it. And the people who want to get what you got, you wanted to lose the weight traveling. You wanted to get it off and keep it off. I wanted to get it off and keep it off. Um, I wasn't eating a lot of food, but I was eating the wrong foods that was working against my body. And when I actually realized what they were, took them away. <laughs> it's it. It's it isn't. It isn't difficult. I think. I think the problem is that people say I can't do it. Well, if once once you say you can't do it. You've taught yourself out of it, right? Yeah. Other things that say it's too hard. Oh, I couldn't live without this, and I couldn't live without that. 
And yet, three, four months later, they'll come back and say, I've been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I need your help. What can I do? What can, you know, well, we told you three months ago, we told you whatever. You know, there's no point in, in waiting until that situation happens. It's not, it's not difficult. And, but having said that, it's not easy. It's just understanding. And if you say, well, I don't know what to do, help me. Yeah. As you know, Jeanette, on the local author group, people post their meals. So if you oh, say, well, I don't know what to eat, what can I eat? Well, have a look at what other people are eating. My favourite was uh, the, the, this, this, the greens. So you have the broccoli, you have the um, sprouts, you have the cauliflower. You do all the mix together, together, throw in some corned beef, which I never ate because it was high fat and I was afraid of it. And a wee stock cube. And, and I mean, it is delicious. It's my, it's my comfort food. It's my go-to on a windy wet day. That would be, I make that up for myself. I love it. Totally love it. Um, yes, you, temptation traveling is always going to be here. Temptation has been here from the beginning of mankind. It's, right. whether, it's what we say and how we do it, what we, how we react to it. Oh, I can't live without bread. Okay, so you want to live with pain the rest of your life? Congratulations, carry on. <laughs> Don't change it. If, if you want to yeah. keep taking your pet tablets because you've got sore joint pains or you're feeling, or you've got to, or you've, then it's your life. But if you want to stop the pain, Stop the drugs. Stop living a lie. It's. I, I think. We. I think if I started charging people, they may actually go. Oh, seven word and wait. Watch yours now. Oh, please don't, my sister. When I seven word, I described something to you, and I. I described sausages, bacon, fried eggs. Um. What else? Mushrooms. Um. Fazma roll. They're called free foods. They're called free foods. I said to my sister, why are they free foods? Why are they known as free foods? And she went, I said, you've been doing this program with these and they're not explaining this to you. Why are they free foods? Why can you eat those foods and not gain weight? Because they haven't got carbohydrates in them. They're carbohydrate free. So they're free foods. That's what they're teaching you. What they are is healthy foods. Healthy foods your body can use. Um, the carbohydrates, the white, the bread, the pasta, the rice, the cereals, they were my four big, big problems. Four big problems for me. And I thought I was eating healthy. Choosing white rice instead of fried, choosing cornflakes instead of frosties, choosing um, pasta instead of chips. I genuinely believed I was eating healthy. <laughs> it's like... <sighs> and then you see people going, I can't do without this. Yes, that's okay, fair enough. Okay, I'll still be here next year and year after telling you the same thing and live my life to the fullest while you continue to crawl along. And when you catch up, let me know. Because it's not going to benefit me in the slightest. You improving. It's got nothing to do with me. I promised God, I promised that I would help every single person that ever asked me. I promised. You help me, I will pass this on. I promise. And I'm not breaking a promise. I promised. So I am here for anybody who wants to ask and I can get you through it how quickly or how slowly you want to do it depends on you, not me. Okay, so t tell us, um, because um, you've got some cards which I which I have made and sent out to you. Um, yeah. Tell us how you've been using those and what people have been saying. And, and you've set up a, um, a group, aren't you, uh, Jeanette? Um, the local group, the local group in Belfast. So for our Northern Ireland friends, so just talk through and encourage other people because there might be other people out there who might want to set up a group as well. And we're here to help and support you, you know. I mean, I've tried to do that. I've tried to prove that I'm I'm here for you, Jenna. I, I didn't ask you to sign any papers. There's no con. There's, you're just out there helping people as I'm trying to do. I'm not in it for the money or anything yeah. like that because there's no money. It's costing me money um, to do what I do. And I don't ask anybody for anything. You know, and um, it's and, very and, hard these days, Kevin, to find someone out there who is actually saying what you're saying and telling the truth. You know, because you're always, ah, what's it, what's the catch? Ah, but there is no catch. Just listen. You know, there is, there is not. So yes, I get. I you give a YouTube video of how you lost nine stone in a year and kept it off. That got my interest right away. And I went, okay, you are somebody I want to speak to. How did you do that? Because uh, this is what I've been asking the doctors. How do I get it off? How do I keep it off? I could get some off. 
I was 191 pound in September 19, and I joined a personal gym. Now I have the Fit My Fitness Pal app on my phone originally, and it showed 191. I got down to 167 in January, so by five months I got down to 167. In March I was still 167. So I still wasn't taking any more off there. And then the virus kicked in. So then everything was shut down. So the, that, that year, from Feb, from March, right through to the following January, I put a stone back on. And I couldn't stop it. And didn't know how to stop it. And now that I have done, I've joined Local Over, joined yourself. You've explained to me very much, very clearly, in speedy terms, let me tell you, because I have tortured the life out of you all. Um, you have explained to me where I was going wrong and where the hidden sugars are. It's an addiction, Trevin. Yeah, it's That's it. why we're addicted to the cornflakes and we're addicted to bread. So, so, so tell us how the people are reacting when, 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 when they speak and you give them the card and, and you know, just, just I mean, because I want to help other people who, who might want to set up groups as well, you know. So you're the first one, the first person to have done this within the local local community and I want to encourage other people to do it so so you've got your cards there haven't you Jeanette which I've sent I've you I've got my cards no way you can see them or not but it's like it says local loafer on the front of it and on the back of it it has a YouTube it links the links goes to yourself and what see this and my name will then go on the back of it with my phone number for people that I know are comfortable or give me a ring here and I write my name down for them and say give me a buzz if you, if you need me to if you need to um, how we started off is basically going most people um, if weight will come up with some description I have a way of opening it up so that they'll actually say oh yeah I would love to lose but you know looking forward to the summer coming in get in the short get, oh yeah no, yeah, yeah, you know sort of break it in gradually and if I don't, if I don't know them like a couple of car assistants come into my place I, I'm the coordinator of the housing scheme and they come in and some of them might be look, have, look heavier and um, let me say and you're trying to lose weight I'll say to them um I'll bring, I'll bring it up, you know, I'm glad, I, look, whatever way I say, whatever I'm comfortable saying on her, her, and say, look, um, do you know that I was, and I show a photograph of myself, this is me, this is me in January, this is me in February this year, and I was £191, this is me today, 15 weeks later, and they're looking at me going, how do you do that? And I and that's opens it up for me, and I go, this is what I do, and then you sort of see the reaction coming back whenever they go, eh, no, can't do this, no, no. You sort of see this sort of fear, fear it is actual fear with them, the thought of actually giving something up that they actually enjoy. Um, Jordan and I were having this discussion. We were saying, um, at the beginning of six weeks, so at the end of our first six weeks, we were craving bread. We were, I, I was like. Oh, I really love toast, bread and spray, and a mug of coffee. And I went, right, okay, I will get a loaf on the way home. We know what we're doing. I will do this. I will. So I stopped off, picked up a loaf, come home, made the toast, and we had a couple of piece, couple of bites of toast and coffee. And we both looked at each other and went, this is actually stinking. And I went, I know. The bread went to the birds. I and mean, we never, I at that point was looking for almond flour, and trying to make substitutes for bread. I haven't even thought about it since that. Now, we were lucky enough that that was like, it doesn't taste the way it tasted. I don't know. There's so, so many change ingredients in six weeks or something that it's your taste buds change. Every Your body reacts quickly to the change. It's just getting you from, I can't to, I can't. It's just flipping you from one to the other. And it's how much do you want this? Nine, six weeks, 19 pound off. Do you want that? Six weeks. Is your body going to rebel? Yes. Are you going to have a couple of wee tantrums that your body's going to go, Bleh. yes. We can talk you through them. We can get you through those things. I have a girl who, about a stone and a half, she says, I do weight watches. I do similar work. I'm 10 and a half stone. And she, she doesn't look heavy, but she's smaller than me. She's only about five foot. And um, she'll be comfortable. She'll always be nine stone. And I just can't get the weight off. And I said, okay, come on, sit down and chat with me. What are you eating? Show me what you're eating. Make down what you're eating and let me know. And she showed me, wrote down for a couple of days what she's eating. And I said to her, okay, here and here and here. Why are you doing this? And I was asking her why she was doing what she was doing and why she was eating this and this and this. And she was telling me, I go, okay, what I would do. 
suggestion is, and I give her suggestions that I would actually give. She was Coke Zero would have, would have been one of her problems. So I asked her to take it away from her dad for a few days just to see if she lost any weight. And she lost four pounds, like, like that. And she's now got what's down to. She's got five pounds. She's back in the zone again. So it does work. So, so one of the things that, that you're doing is obviously when you speak to them, you're discussing the food that they're eating. Yes. And this is just in general conversation. Yes. Um, and then you're giving them suggestions of the things yes. that they might drop and stop doing. What I tend to do traveling to is say as little as possible and listen to what they are saying to me. You know, um, it's important that each person gets the, you know, they're not sort of afraid to, to, say, to say what they're eating or how they're doing. It's very simple. Are you taking sugar in your diet? And some people say, maybe I have tea and coffee and I have sugar in it. Well, fair enough. You need to take that away first. Sugar, sh- people, we know, we know sugar is bad for us. You know, we're, we're not teaching that. We know that. Understand that. It's where our body breaks starchy foods down. We seem to have missed the memo. And it's basically, that's what we need to get across. Is it because people don't know that this is sugar? Or because, you know, if you actually understood that this, our body breaks starch down as glucose, which we then, it's a sugar. If we if we know that this is the problem, I mean, if you're putting on potatoes or rice in your plate, you may as well put two chocolate bars on. You know, if, if you had three chocolate bars on your plate, you expect to lose weight? No, you're going to increase. Of course you are. So this is what you're doing by putting the whites on your plate. You're putting, you're eating chocolate. It's the same thing. And can you live a perfect life with air? I haven't missed anything at all. One of the most important lessons is the fact that this is not keto because um, I had issues before with Peter say, people saying I'm on a ketogenic diet. And I'm not knocking ketogenic diets, but what I'm saying is that in the long term, they don't work because many people have come on and said, I've lost weight on keto diet, but and then it's stalled. But the whole point of having this here is low carbohydrate, low fat, and keeping the fats low means yeah. that your body uses up its own fat. I mean, if you say low fat, we'll think low fat as in low fat yogurt, low fat, and that's not what we're talking about because that's high sugar. So we need to go low fat means eat the fats on the food itself. So you can have your bacon, you can have your corned beef, are those two things low fat? Would you call those low fat? No, they call those. But I'm not adding fat. I'm not adding like butters. And, you know, I'm not putting loads of different fats on. There. I'm having the foods or I'm not having a bit of like stock cubes or herbs or something for your kick and your taste. It's delicious. It's absolutely beautiful. And you can add about a bit, a bit sometimes. I would like Philadelphia cheese cream if I'm making up a sauce or making up. It's I'm, oh, it's like I'm learning to cook again for the first time. My taste buds are thanking me because it's like, hello, I never realised the food could actually taste so good. It's simple. It's simple. So, yeah, I know. But thank you again, Trevor. Thank you so much for your time. And I mean this, for your time, your support, your advice, your help. Thank you very much, Kevin. I will speak to you again very, very soon. Okay, God bless you. Take care and I look forward to a good report. Take care now. Thank you. I'm here for you. Take it easy. Bye. Bye. So I've been keeping tough on mute because my dog's a bit loud today. Oh, yeah. Is that the right option? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I thought I'd join. Hang on a minute. I hope you enjoy these videos that we make for you. If you want to find out more about how we're fighting the war against weight and type 2 diabetes, join us on the local author group on Facebook. Also, you can catch up with our videos on the Warrington Low Carbohydrate Group. There's tons and tons of videos there. And if you're not into Facebook or you don't want to sign up um, for Facebook, Then you can join us on our website below, which is www.localofa.com. And on there, we've got blogs. I'll be putting the weekly blog up.
I've got videos on there. So there's lots of information will be coming through. So there's different ways you can keep in touch with us. But again, don't forget, if you want to follow us on YouTube, then please subscribe and ding that bell. Okay, thanks a lot. Take care. See you soon. Bye.